So as Treasure said, I'll be looking into the crystal ball to predict what I see in 2021. Nigeria as I see it in 2021. The year 2020 will for a long time be remembered as a year of multitude calamities and a distinct change in the way we live our lives. It has been a very challenging year with crime rate at its peak, the corona pandemic ravaging the whole world, the NSARS riot, which culminated in avoidable debts, subsidy removal, and many economic policies that impoverished many. Year 2020 also witnessed crisis in the oil sector as we continue to lose our market. We are losing our share of the European market to the US. With potential drop in oil prices, Nigeria is likely to face a foreign exchange crisis as crude oil, its main foreign revenue, is selling less than $40 a barrel. Forex liquidity squeeze will continue for as long as oil prices are down and Nigeria fails to diversify its economy. So 2021 13 trillion budgets proposal is based on a benchmark of $40 per barrel, an exchange rate of 3.79 to a dollar, projected oil revenue of 1.86 million barrels per day. However, the resurgence of COVID-19 pandemic in Europe could affect this 2021 budget. So how does all this affect you and me? I would like to put it in four buckets, personal, family, business, and community. So personally, you may want to review your personal spendings in 2021 and give yourself less treats because 2021, you'd have to tighten your belt. Family, if you do not have a budget, this is the time to implement one and stick by them. Careful planning would ensure provisions are made for the important things like shelter, food, school fees, medicals, and so on business. Processes must be put in place to guarantee survival. Also, best corporate governance practice must be implemented. Government will go hard on tax and other revenue defaulters this year. So be prepared. Community. Say, be your brother's keeper. Participate and help those in need. A lot of people will need intervention this year. Now, the good news. It is in times like this crisis that you see the best of Nigerians and 2021 will not be an exception. We are fighters. 2021 will see the best of Nigerians. I am certain that we'll pull through the challenges ahead. God bless you and God bless Nigeria. Wow. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, I, I want to hear what Chuka has to say also because before, no, it has to be Chuka uh, first. before I, yeah. uh, I, I say something. Oh, please. Chuka, Chuka all over to you. I, 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 don't, I don't agree with Seidu. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I know. we're going to pull I saw through it anything in 2021. I, saw it I think coming. we're going to go deeper into suffering. And the government is going to go stronger into wickedness and everything else that they've always been doing. Wow. And we are setting up for a massive fight that can happen one day. I don't know if it's going to be 2021, 22, but definitely if Nigerians don't act in 2023, they're a bunch of idiots. And that's really where I'm heading. But I don't see any change in 2021. The country is exactly as it is, and it's going to be like that for many years. But we're going to fight. That's what is going to happen. Um, I I expected this. Um, I saw I saw um, this uh, uh, Sedu's advocacy, like um, as his, uh, advice from a, you know a bank MD or a corporation <laughs> MD, and, and then at the end of the, the day, at the end of the day, now spoke like a government official. <laughs> um, you know. And, <laughs> You reel out the real reality, and then at the end of the day, you they come in, you come in like <laughs> um, government. You say we will pull through. We are fighters. We will fight with all Ow. of this dark reality. Is, quickly, is it not true? No, wait, no, wait, no. Wait, 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 with all of this dark reality that you have yeah. made out, government is going to push you. 
Government is going to go after taxes. Government will anything. not. But mind you, mm -hmm. you you know and you avoided it. Government is not going to cut costs. No. They will need more money. They, they are not cutting costs. No, no government, sacrifice on yeah. them. Government is not tightening their not beds. They are reducing the size of government. Recently, during the week, I think on Monday, they said um, that uh, the price of oil might go up and maybe they might introduce um, a subsidy again and you know all of those things. They're so, removing. and like Chuka said, I see a fight. Because the young people have said. tested NSAS mm -hmm. and they saw where their mistake is and then they might also be poisoned for another one. And government can best do well to cut costs. It's going to be difficult, but government should cut costs. It shouldn't be all about money, money, money. Find a way of also making sacrifices. When you lead by example, by making sacrifices, yes. reduce some of these things, all these uh, unnecessary travels, yes. uh, reduce them and then... Let us also have transparent uh, bidding processes for contract. A situation where you over invoice and yet you are telling people come and pay. If you do this willingly, people would see, you know, that you are genuinely, genuinely interested in building bridges. But otherwise, um, let me you, just add to that. Uh, this is a COVID <laughs> pandemic here. A COVID year where we are saying do not move if you don't have to move. So only essential movement, so that the virus does not move and uh, cause uh, more variants and people dying. We see people dying all over the place. So what am I saying? Government need to look inwards to change things, to save us money, and then distribute, redistribute the wealth, where the wealthiest 1% of Nigeria can actually feed the whole of Nigeria, and the wealthiest people are actually the government. So what am I saying? Seidu, I like the fact that you broke it into four parts talking about personal, so you say I shouldn't go on holiday this year. No problem. They say we shouldn't move. You say that our family should only budget for our shelter, our food. I agree to all those things. But what, what did you say about the government? How can they help us? Because that is where, you know, we have missed it. The private sector is crumbled because of COVID-19 pandemic. And so government, now that we're getting more um, for, for the oil barrel, we're going to save more. So how are they going to reduce the cost to make it beneficial for Nigerians. Otherwise, we're spring for another fight. That what ends at the beginning say, of... What yeah. I'm going to say to government, Seidu has said, has delivered his advocacy, but I just want to say to government, the people are groaning. You're I'm taking owning. too much from the people. They don't have anything to give anymore. So if you're wanting to take anything again, I mean, imagine, take our you're blood, even no. taking... Our mm -hmm. money is lying dormant somewhere. So there is nothing to fall back on. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to go back to. The electricity, electricity tariff is so high. Look, the people are gro groaning, mm -hmm. and you just have to stop milking the people. You make sacrifices. Milk yourself. 2021. Well, we've come to the end of this week's episode of The Advocate. However, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate NG. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on the station, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye -bye. So it looks like you're on the hot seat today. I absolutely am. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I, am, I am. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.